Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Wednesday, August 28th, 2019. The tarot card for today is the King of Cups. This one comes to us from the Divine Diversity Tarot by comic artist Joe Phillip. As you may have surmised by now, I do have quite a few tarot decks, and, you know, it's very rare. I want to say like yesterday, I opened eight new. It was both tarot and oracle decks one or two of them were like oh wow and the rest were just okay all right when the divine diversity tarot deck showed up on my doorstep and i opened it up it was definitely an oh wow the cards are beautiful the artwork is consistently magnificent the quality of you know the product itself is really great and of course, Joe is a very established, respected artist. Now, in so far as our King of Cups here today, you know, he's my favorite guy. All right. He really, truly is. His qualities, his really good qualities are that compassion that he has for, you know, every living thing, really. You know, not just people, but animals, plants, you name it. He's a compassionate being he's also generous not in the sense of giving away everything that he has but generous in giving of his time and his nurturing that he can do for others he is also a very balanced individual all right i often bring up mr rogers when this card comes out where he would tell the story about when he was a little boy and his mom would try to help him understand you know, uh, catastrophic events, things that happened that were not pleasant that might show up on the news. And she would always point out to him, look for the helpers. You know, the King of Cups is those kinds of people like your policeman, your firefighter, your paramedic, those who rush toward danger and maintain a balanced perspective on everything in order to help others okay they're the kind of people that you want around in times of crisis it doesn't necessarily mean that if someone has those attributes that they are one of those things because you can be that way without you know have chosen a vocation that goes with that you know we have so many interesting aspects coming up you know not just closing out this month but as we head into next month september is going to be a phenomenal month there's a great deal that's going on make sure you listen to my love and finance which is already available and you'll be really surprised at what's happening now with today we are seeing mars trying uranus okay both in earth signs mars is in virgo uranus is in taurus and of course there are no end to the surprises that may occur i had people ask me after yesterday's card came out about you know their chart and how to find out what uranus you know where uranus was for them because i mentioned that uranus is currently at six degrees and that when i was born uranus was at six degrees so if you are curious there is a website called astrodeanst.com you're better googling free birth chart or free chart astrology chart and then choosing them and going in and setting it up if you know all of your correct birth information and that will you know tell you those types of things that you're looking for and you know right now with all of the aspects to uranus this week if you see something that's between you know five to seven degrees on your chart that's where there's you know an area of interest for you so now what about our king of cups you know i i think that the key word for him today is intuition and you know i have to tell you i i don't find it is easy for some people with all of this earth energy okay um in other words there are people who can believe but when there's so much earth energy going on they can't really see so if you tend to be intuitive i would be trying to tap into that a little bit today because there's a real urge here to break out to break free and to you know do something different 
but you also need to keep your intuition at play. This is a very intuitive king, and I think that he can help guide you, all right? Um, not to get too far ahead of us, but I still feel as though things are different come the week of the ninth. So stay tuned, and just like our King of Cups, try to just roll with it, okay? Just try to, you know, flow with whatever is going on. And that's not easy with all that Uranus energy, but this is the king that is most capable of really not overreacting to it and kind of just floating along and, you know, paying attention. So you're going to see where you wind up in the next couple of weeks and what's going on. Things are definitely going to be different. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.